Good day everyone. Today in this video we will tell you about what is white shark, what is ping, what is testbed and tips on how to use it and finally a demo of ping test using white shark. So what is white shark? Basically white shark is a very powerful and popular network analyzer for Windows, Mac and Linux. As you can read it, it's a tool used to inspect data passing through network interface. Your interface could be either Ethernet, Wi-Fi or LAN. This series of data contain frame that include packets. Wireshark has the ability to capture those packets that are sent and received over the network. Wireshark can decode them for analysis. Wireshark will hunt for those packets in the TCP IP layer during transmission and keep whatever it finds. Okay, next is what is PIN? PIN is a short word for Packet Internet Grouper. PIN is a utility that is used to verify the capability of network data packet to be distributed to an address without errors. PIN commonly used to check for network errors, for example, troubleshoot internet connection. How to use PIN? Firstly, the user will use the PIN command to PIN the IP address and the request by the user will be sent over the network hub and router, for example, the computer which means that a packet has been sent to the specified address. Then, the computer will receive the request and will reply to the pin with a prompt response. Lastly, the time between the two transmission of the request by the user and reply by the computer is calculated to generate average response. The pin will be measured by milliseconds. What is testbed? Testbed is the test execution environment configured for testing. Testbed consists of specific hardware, software, operating system, network configuration, the product and the test, other system software, and application software. Okay, here is some tips to set up the testbed. First, understand the requirement. Second one is check the connectivity. Number three, checking network or storage. Number four, check required. Does it mean software and hardware license? Five, browser and version. Six, planning out the use of the test environment. And the last one is the automation tools and the NDR configurations. Okay, that's okay, all for the introduction. About Next, the we will show you the demonstration. Okay, hi everyone. Now I'm going to demonstrate you how to use Wireshark on capturing ping networks that, that for the packets that we send. Okay, first you have to open the Wireshark and select the internet and select interface list. So now you can see here, after you select internet, you have to go to the option panel. So untick this thing, then you click start for that. You don't capture other people's network. So next, wait until it loads. Other than that, try to filter according to the IC MP. This is the protocol that we are going to use. So next, you go open the command prompt and try ping any network you want. First, try to ping our university, which is UTEM. So once you start pinning this stuff, the results will pop up on the uh, console of the software. Okay, so as you see here, so you can see that there are four packets sent to the internet that we try to ping the server. So we will receive all four where the no connection is lost. So there's an average, maximum and minimum speed. So this is uh, one second for everything because this is just our unity and we are trying to record in our unity so the, the delay is not that much. So you can see here, we have uh, four types of requests that we send and we get four types of reply. So each request that we send has a data that it's carrying. For example, we can go to the internet control message uh, protocol. We can see here when you scroll down, you can see a data. So inside the data, when you click it, you can see all the data that are sent to this uh, network. So it's, uh, it's consists of 32 characters bit that uh, sent through the networks where you will get the reply from their site. Okay. Uh, let's ping another site, which is uh, what I choose is University of Cambridge. So let's try to ping University of Cambridge.
okay now you can see that we are getting a time request so this is not a uh, an uh, one error event or what so it's just more that that uh, link that we try to ping is protected by the university so that other people won't access it so so as we see here there's a request that we send but there's no reply so this means that uh, every of the data we send is blocked by them so that uh, they block their server so that other people don't try to hack it so that's all for me from how to use this workshop so here are the results of the pinging of the two websites captured by the console window and here are the results captured by workshop as you can see, Wireshark provide more detailed description of the request to the websites. Here we can see the details of each individual packet sent and received from each website. This first eight of this first eight entry in Wireshark corresponds to the request sent and received from UTM website, and see this last four are the requests sent to the Cambridge website. We receive no reply because of the reason of my said my friend said just now. So, like what my friends have explained just now, thing is is a network utility that is provided to allow us to troubleshoot the network. Having an application like this, such as Wireshark, allow us to effectively troubleshoot because of the detail the amount of detail that is provided that is all from us today regarding Wireshark and pinging thank you